Hey everyone, welcome to Shoot On. We're out on a turkey hunt in South Dakota and thought we'd do a little side diversion and hunt some coyotes. So we were successful, but before we wrap up and head home, we need to clean the gun a little bit. I'm not going to do a deep clean, just get it ready so we've got all the gunk out and uh, then we'll clean it up a little bit better when we get home. So real easy when you've got a lot of guys with different kinds of guns, uh, different calibers, uh, Real Avid makes the Gun Boss Pro. It's just a real quick kit that's got jags, brushes, and uh, if you're into shotguns, it's also got some mops. But anyway, it's got everything you need for a group of guys to, and gals, let's not forget the gals, to clean their guns real quick in the field or at home. Uh, you know, just make sure everything is not drawing any moisture, you're not starting to do some corrosion. Just get it cleaned up, touched up enough. To get home and then do a deep clean so that's what we're going to do out here today before we head home so we'll take the uh this ar from rock river apart and uh we'll clean it up now in addition to the gun boss pro kit uh real avid just came out with a line of chemicals and one of the products is borefoam so it's a uh, it's a good deep cleaner we've done an article on that uh just follow the link below and we'll show you uh really how well that did on one of our bolt rifles, but we're going to do this also for the for some field cleaning. So anyway, first thing you do is run a brush down the board, just kind of loosen up the crud a little bit, and then uh, give this stuff a good shake, and you just squirt it down into the breech. Now, the neat thing about this is the rotating nozzle, so you can slide it right in there, get it inside the uh, breech, and just give it a few squirts. I'm going to put some paper towels under here because when it comes out, it's a little foamy. But uh, just give it a squirt until it starts to come out. A few squirts. There we go. And we'll leave that set for about 10 to 15 minutes and let it just get the copper and the, and the, uh, corro or the uh, carbon buildup, you know, get it loosened up. And then we'll run another br uh, brush through it and just get it cleaned out. And then we'll follow up with some oil. And that'll be good till we get home. Now we let the Bormax set for about 15 minutes and now we're just going to run a fresh patch through looking good now we'll just put some oil down the bore just lightly coat it put a clean patch on let's see this is the gun oil Give it a little squirt. And that will keep us in good shape for the trip home. Now that we've come this far, we're also just going to give the bolt a little cleaning. Good thing about the AR it is very simple to do a field strip and clean. And if you are unfamiliar with the process, you always look at your owner's manual. Uh, we're using a real avid mat here, and as you can see, it also has a breakdown of the components. So if you get into trouble, it's really easy to figure out how to put everything back together. So for cleaning this, we're just going to use some oil, put it on a clean patch. And wipe down our firing pin. Again, we're just getting the getting the worst of the buildup off. Clean all the small components. We'll clean the bolt off, bolt face, really dirty. We'll give that a good cleaning when we get home. But for now, you know, we were out in some snow yesterday, and I just don't want that that rust potential to start. Get the carrier a little wiped down. Yep, we'll put it back together and we'll hit the road.